this is Chad Garber, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to play Any Way You Want It by Journey. Now, I was watching a video by Marty Swartz. He, I have nothing but respect for the man. He's a great guitarist. He is the king of YouTube with his guitar lessons. He's, he's a phenomenal guitar player. I have nothing but respect. But, I was watching the video he just uploaded a couple days ago, or maybe even a day ago, and he got one note wrong. I know, it's picky. But it may actually one note wrong, and he's doing chords. He's doing it a little bit differently than the actual electric guitar is doing it on the on Journey. But he's using an acoustic guitar. I don't have a problem really with the chords. But and this is actually how I, I believe the way I'm going to show you is how Neil Sean does it with the electric guitar. So this is also you know I just wanted to you know Marty got one note wrong on the on the main riff, and so no big deal. But it did prompt me to want to do this video myself. So anyway, let's get into this. By the way, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and if you want to subscribe to see more, that'd be great. All right, so let's get into this. The first thing is a G. It's a full G. You know, where your pointer finger's on the second fret of the A, your middle finger's on the third fret of the E, your ring finger's on the third fret of the B, and your pinky's on the third fret of the high E, and you just hit the whole thing. And you hit it once, because the first thing that just comes in, it goes. And then, what, you, what I do, what I figured out that Neil Sean does, is you, you keep your, your pinky and your ring finger on the third fret of the E and the B strings, just like you did in the G, but you're gonna take your, your pointer finger and put it on the second fret of the high E, and your middle finger on the second fret of the, of the G string. So you get this. Okay, so you hit that twice even. You know, I think Marty said, yeah, on this one, Marty said to do a, a D, and it is a D, but this is a, I think the way he does it is a different kind of D. It's a D with those two higher strings. So he hits it twice though. And then, keeping your pinky and your ring finger on the same third fret of both strings, you put your pointer finger, you do it, you basically do an E minor. Take your pointer finger, put it on the second fret of the A, and your middle finger on the second fret of the D. And you get that once. So it's, Okay, now here's the riff. The riff, he goes... That's the riff he starts off to go into the... the, the that's after the intro. Now, the way Marty's taught how to do it was this. Where he went to the A. So, the way you do it is, take my middle finger, put it on the third fret of the A. Take my pointer finger on the second fret of the A and go... go back to, then go back to the third fret of the A. And back to the second fret of the A. And then back to the third fret of the A. So and then back to the second fret of the A. Wow, it's three times. And then you go to the, you put your point, your, my middle finger on the third fret of the low E. Here's the difference between what Marty said and what I'm saying in this lick. I go there, I go to the third fret of the E. Marty was saying to go to the open A after that. And that's not what he's doing on this on this particular lick. He does that in the next part of it, but he doesn't do it on this part. He goes, okay, so that's the big difference between Marty and I. Okay, no big deal. But anyway, and then so he does that. And then he does it starts starts off the same lick, same, doing the same way. And then he goes, so he hits the third fret of the A. Then he goes open D, and then second fret of the D with your pointer finger. And back to the open D. Back to the third fret of the A. Back to the second fret of the A. And then the open A, like Marty was saying on the second part. Okay, again, no big deal, but I'm OCD at times. So anyway. And so anyway, so then that's the that's pretty much the whole song. Now the other difference is, and I'm gonna do a solo, I'm gonna do the solo in a, in a later video, but the other thing that goes on here is on the very intro, like he does this once, twice, and then once on the E. And then then from that on from that point on, he'll do from the verse. The verses will do this. He'll hit. He'll go. He's doing them. You know, he hits the, the chord, then he muffles it. And he hits it twice, like he does at the intro. And then the verses, he'll hit the E twice too. He does it twice on the verses. Back to the
Okay, so one thing else to point out is, is every time he goes into the next, from the verse to the chorus, he'll, he'll end it with the other phrase. <laughs> And then it goes to the chorus, which is the same chorus, except it goes back to the one, two, one pattern. So I'm saying so it goes to hit the E once. So that's that's not a big deal, but that's just kind of a, a, a pattern I noticed. And so, and again, every time it goes from the last time in, from the last time of the verse into the chorus, it'll go. And that is it. That is the entire song. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my videos to see more. And again, I love Marty Swartz. He's the king. I've got nothing but respect for him. He's an amazing guitarist. It just sparked this little video. So anyway, thanks so much for watching.